Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Ben Olson, that's Nathan Fox. Together we're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. Today we have an email from Ale. Do you want to read it? Yeah. Hey gentlemen, I'm finishing up my Bachelor of Commerce in Law and Business in Ontario. Very official sounding. It took me 10 years part-time. Throughout that time, I worked in multiple roles, including sales and management in the financial industry. Even with some experience in the working world, law is still the most single interesting subject I've been exposed to, and I want to apply to law school. At least I wanted to until I started reading up on the profession. There seems to be some serious downsides to a career in law. I've read about the saturation of the profession where young lawyers aren't getting jobs, the insane working hours, the prevalence of depression and alcohol dependency, and to top it all off, the often shit salaries. (laughs) Don't get me wrong, I'm not considering law because I expect it to be easy or because I want to be rich, But sacrificing so much time, money, and health in exchange for unemployment, crippling debt, and a non-livable salary seems ludicrous. What are your thoughts? Is there any glimpse of hope you can give me? Ale. (laughs) Uh, I think uh, Ale wrote the wrong show. I I don't know that (laughs) I can give uh, (laughs) a lot of uh, inspiring words here. I don't think so. <laughs> Thinking else that would also be the wrong show to uh, <laughs> to write into. No, I'll, I'll yeah, thank you for writing in. Um, yeah, what, I don't know, Ben. What? Look, it can be a great profession for the right people. There are people who like to go after you know details. They like to make a case, especially in writing. Um, they like research. They like working alone a lot. Um, if you like those things, then you don't need to depend on alcohol. <laughs> you don't need to become depressed um, as you work those insane hours. Um, you're also more likely to succeed in law school because you enjoy delving into these sorts of things and you're less likely to be one who's out on the street without a job. So if it's the right fit for you, you can go in there and kick ass and you can make a lot of money. If you end up being one of the people who gets the $200,000 job, $200,000 a year job rather than the $50,000 a year job, then great, you know? You could have everything going in your favor. But that's not most people. I would say it's it's not most people. So most people don't end up in that position. And so to make yourself one of those people, you really got to be familiar with what you're going to be doing on a day-to-day basis, and that has to intrigue you, excite you on some level. Yeah, I would say, like, are you the best reader and writer you know? And do you know what lawyers do? Like, do you know lawyers and you know what they do every day? And Not from TV. Not from TV. Not, yeah, like actual real lawyers who, like, you know where they went to school. You could go to that school. You know what kind of job they do. You could credibly get that job from that school. Um, You know roughly how much money they make. You are happy making that much money. And do you have a burning desire to do that with the rest of your life? Oh, for do you want loss? Do you want work to be the primary focus of your life? I would say th- those are four. To me, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, those seem pretty necessary to me. Yeah. And and I and I want to add not sufficient. <laughs> so, you know, if, if you say yes to all four of those things, you're the best reader and writer that you know you know lawyers and know what they want to do and, or know what they do and, and how much money real lawyers, practical, actual, like there's a path to an actual job. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not just, I want to help people or I want to help the environment or I want to whatever, but like, no, an actual lawyer with an actual job, you want work to be the primary focus of your life. That's the other one I said. (laughs) I thought I had four. 
I don't know. I, I think actually, I think when you were counting, you went one, two, four. So oh. you might have three. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I would add to that. You're also like, cause this is hyper-focused on law, right? And I know you're saying these things are only necessary, which is, which is totally true. You also have to not be giving up a better opportunity elsewhere. Yeah, right. Like a burning desire to do all this stuff and nothing else that you could, like no other credible path to a career. Yeah. Which Ale sounds like he's already working in finance, sales and management. I mean, how's that going? Like how, how much, you know, are, are you making a good living? Do you enjoy the work? Because, you know, when Ale, Ale says law is still the single most interesting subject I've been exposed to. Yeah. Maybe you need to be exposed to more things. I mean, maybe not. Sorry. I don't well, mean to Also, what kind judge. of law <laughs> is interesting? Like the fact that you find, you know, like if you read um, Jeffrey Tubin. <laughs> The recently disgraced reporter guy, yeah, who yep. exposed himself on a work Zoom. <laughs> that guy writes really well, wrote really good books about like the Supreme Court, yeah, or about like that kind of like high level law. That stuff was interesting. That stuff really is interesting. Mm-hmm. But the fact that you find that interesting doesn't mean that you're going to find law school interesting, and it definitely does not mean that you're going to find a legal job interesting because that that type of highfalutin shit is just not what 99 percent of lawyers do so (laughs) i'm gonna yeah i agree and i i would add one more thing here all that you have a a little bit of a red flag it says it took you 10 years to get your bachelor's degree um people who go to law school tend to be very good at school too and I know you worked part time and maybe that's why and it's nothing to be concerned about. But I don't know, ten years is unusually slow for most people to get through their program. Um, yeah, so, I don't think this is a I, I don't know that that's a, a, re, a, a an actual red flag for Ale specifically, but your point is I your point's well taken, which is law school is for good students. Mm-hmm. Like lawyering is for good students. Are you a good student? Did you always get really good grades? Because I'm a bad student. And I had a really high LSAT and a really low GPA and I had no business going to law school. Like it, it just, I'm not a worker bee. I'm not, I'm not cut out for that life. I don't take orders well. I, I don't, like, I'm not, I'm not rising and grinding. That's not my, that's not my jam. Like, I I don't, uh, I don't want somebody telling me what to do. I don't want a endless stack of work. You know, the lawyers that I know that are like super successful, like, like very happy at work are the ones who like, it's the best day of their life again, when they get, they get up and there's just an endless stack of work Yep. and they get to work from 7am to 7pm nonstop flat out, you know? And, and, and that's like their happy place. That's what Mm -hmm. they want to do. Yeah. That's their dream. That's what I mean when I say, you know, do you want work to be the primary focus of your life? There's an endless amount of work to be done, but you have to really want to work. And those type of people tend to get good grades. Well, school is very similar to the practice of law in the sense that you have to go jump through a bunch of hoops, do a lot of reading, do a lot of research So, um, yeah, stop asking questions about why you have these assignments. Do your fucking assignments. Yep. You know, like, oh, you think this work is stupid? Uh, Who cares? That's not your job. Your job is to do the fucking work. And like those type of people tend to get good grades. So, yeah, it we're boy. Have you ever tried to talk somebody into law school? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it if there's like, I would consider it a last resort for, or or like you've worked in a law firm and you know, lawyers and you have this burning desire. Like you just can't imagine any other future for yourself. 
I feel like that should be a necessary, that's a necessary condition. It's not sufficient. Yeah. So <laughs> no. if you're hearing that and you're like, oh, that's me. Well, therefore I should go to law school. Uh, then you're no, still you just eligible. might have the possibility. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can still think about it. There's still, you know, there still might be better opportunities in the world for you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, these are these are not our points. This is Ale's, uh, Ale coming to us about the lack of jobs, glut of lawyers, insane working hours, not as good money as you think you're going to make, plus depression and alcohol dependency. Like those are real. Those are, that's like true. That's facts. Yeah. Yeah. So like there are monsters and you know, you just shouldn't go venturing out there unless you're really, really, really sure that this is the right thing for you. So sorry, Ale, we're not, we're not going to, you know, give you the, I don't know. We're just not going to sell you any kind of a dream. <laughs> Like if you're thinking maybe this isn't the right thing for you, then yeah, it's probably not. Yep. Cool. Well, if you have a similar question or maybe, um, questions about whatever, anything else out of law school admissions related email daily at LSATdemon.com. Thanks for listening. Bye.